As we've been following here on the channel, the U.S. government is facing a major impasse in raising the debt ceiling. President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy did not reach an agreement in their last meeting. The deadline is approaching, and someone needs to give in. Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will address an extremely relevant topic of this month's end, the growing issue of the U.S. debt. Before we begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and enjoy our content. Feel free to share your opinions and suggestions in the comments, as we greatly value your participation and feedback. Without further ado, let's dive into this informative video. The U.S. government may delay its bills next month and even fail to pay its debt if Congress does not increase the limit of $31.4 trillion for government loans, a failure that could trigger an economic calamity and panic in global financial markets. What follows is a timeline that shows how a cascade of missed payments could unfold, based on the U.S. Treasury's warning that it could run out of money as early as June 1st and daily tax revenues and spending obligations projected by the Bipartisan Policy Center, a Washington-based think tank. June 1st. The U.S. Treasury's coffers would run dry, causing it to hit the debt ceiling. The $26 billion in daily tax revenues would not be enough to cover approximately $101 billion in spending obligations promised by Congress. Who wouldn't be paid? Potentially, everyone expecting a check. If the Treasury were to operate under a plan laid out in 2011, it would not pick and choose which bills to pay and instead wait until it has enough money to cover a full day's worth of bills. Medical providers would be hurt by $47 billion in Medicare payments, the U.S. public health insurance program for seniors. Soldiers would also go unpaid. Wall Street investors may still get paid for now, but there are risks. With debt principal payments coming due, including over $100 billion on June 1st, the Treasury would only borrow enough to cover the maturity and stay below the debt limit. If investors refuse to lend that money out of fear of not being paid back, the U.S. could start to default on its debt, shaking the global financial system. June 2nd. Even if Washington continued to pay its debts on time, stock markets would likely be swooning. This could put pressure on House Speaker, Republican Kevin McCarthy, and Democratic President Joe Biden to act swiftly. Republicans, who control one chamber of Congress, are demanding spending cuts in exchange for their support in raising the debt ceiling. Without an agreement, another day of checks may not go out. Pensioners and other Social Security beneficiaries would not receive $25 billion owed to them. States would not receive $2 billion owed in Medicaid health insurance subsidies for the poor. By this point, large areas of the country would be going unpaid. June 6. U.S. military equipment manufacturers and other military suppliers would not collect $2 billion owed to them. June 7. Around a week into the crisis, it's possible that some checks would finally be issued. The U.S. Treasury would have collected around $110 billion in taxes since it stopped increasing the debt, enough to cover bills starting from June 1st. It would still owe around $1 billion. June 8th. Education programs run by state and local governments would not receive $1 billion in planned funding. The crisis would deepen in U.S. hospitals as federal insurance payments dropped even further. June 15th. Things would get more complicated on June 15th, when the Treasury is due to pay investors around $2 billion in interest payments on the national debt. The Treasury said in 2014, after another near collision with the debt ceiling, that it is technically able to prioritize paying interest over other obligations. Assuming that capacity holds up, daily tax revenues would give the Treasury enough money to make the debt payment. But revenues would not cover all other bills due on June 15th, such as military salaries. Would politicians have the ability to let this bomb explode in the hands of American citizens due to political disagreements? And thus we come to the end of our video today. We sincerely hope that you have enjoyed and found valuable information regarding this highlighted negotiation. We would love to hear your opinion and perspective on the matter. Please leave your comments below, as we highly value the interaction and engagement of our community. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the relevant content we are preparing for you. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.